All right, so we wanted to give you a quick demo of what our lab three is for the EE472 embedded design course at the University of Washington. And uh, for this course, we get to work with the AR drone uh, quadrocopters by Parrot and uh, a few other things, but these are the highlight uh, of the project. So there are quadrocopters that have four rotors that uh, spin at different velocities, creating uh, lift and uh, by alternating which ones spin faster or slower, you can change the directions. Um, basically, uh, the rotor or the quadrocopter controls everything on its own. It has its own um, PID controller and uh, all the um, stability and everything, um, all the low level control stuff is done on the drone. And uh, what we do is basically send it uh, high level commands like uh, go straight, go left, go right, go back, you know, uh, up and down, whatnot, rotate. And this, of course, is just for this uh, particular lab three. Uh, for lab four, there will be more advanced stuff, and uh, we'll talk about that later. Um, so this uh, quadrocopter is pretty cool. It has uh, two cameras. One goes uh, points forward, uh, one points back. Uh, has some uh, a six-dimensional or um, six uh, degree of freedom uh, accelerometer. I believe a gyro as well, um, don't quote me on that, but it, it's pretty awesome. Um, what we actually use to control that is this uh, ARM7 uh, processor that's on the make controller board, and it's a making things board that you can just get for um, a few hundred dollars, but it's provided by, for us by uh, the EE department at UW. Um, and we actually control it uh, by using the a keypad and reading the values off of that and it's just uh, regular switches and we also have an LCD on our board so it's pretty cool. Our main controller uh, has a, a real-time operating system called a free RTOS on it and it's running all of the tasks for the board um, in real time basically with priorities and whatnot. Um, so that's uh, pretty cool, pretty cool yeah. Um, another thing, we can't uh, at the moment, since we're only saying or sending uh, single commands, we cannot get the drone to do anything amazing. For example, you can't go diagonally as it requires going forward uh, and in a direction. So we can't do that, it just kind of twitches and that's uh, something you'll see later on. But uh, we are going to change that for the fourth and final project we will uh, have it actually do uh, or actually update all of the directions at the same time so you'll be able to go diagonally or uh, perform other more advanced maneuvers. I believe that uh, Dustin will show us what what happens when you actually try to s tell it to go uh, diagonally right now. It ends up kind of twitching uh, just like that. So not very exciting, but we'll fix that and post another video for you guys. Um, another thing is uh, you gotta be very careful with these things. They're uh, not. I mean, they, they do pretty well during crashes, but uh, <laughs> if you do crash them without that protective cover made out of foam, it ends up being pretty bad. And uh, we'll have an example of what a crash would look like. Uh, an example of that running into the wall a few times. Probably not good, not a good thing. But yeah, it turns out it was a, a controller error. Probably something with a uh, stack overflow or something of the case. And uh, here you can see what our controller looks like. Pretty lame. There's a few buttons. Uh, not too advanced. We'll be swapping that out for something cooler. And uh, we'll definitely post another video once we have the final project done. So look out for that. Thanks.